I'm with a local celebrity, Norm Short, right now. I would like to point out, though, not planned, but we are definitely hashtag twinsies today. You'll have to explain the hashtag thing to me. <laughs> I've never quite figured that out. Well, back in the day, we used to say it's the pound sign. Okay. Now we call it the hashtag sign. So. Learn something new every week. That's why I watch. Now, Norm is a local celebrity, well, gosh, for a lot of reasons. One thing is, and we're going to start on this, the radio show. Norm has his own radio show, so let's give a plug for you. Where can we hear you? Cool 101.3, Eagle 97.7. Uh, the Wave 97.1 has picked it up. Also, Waco down in, I don't even know where it's at yet, but that's the fourth station. There are a total of five that carry in touch with Delmarva now. Tell me about the show. What do you guys talk about then? Well, a lot of it's local events, different things going on in the area, but well, I had uh, George and Montreal Teague on last year, and, and that was fun. Did you know that Wiglet Jiglet has a nickname? You're going to love this. They call him Bubble Wrap. Really? Bubble Why? Rap. Well, one of the other trainers come by, and he says, he's such an uh, expensive horse, you must really take good care of him. You probably want to wrap him up in bubble wrap to keep him safe. I see. Now, Norm was just saying you learned something new, yeah. you know, every time you watch this show. Now, that was the something new that all of you just found out. <laughs> it struck me by surprise, too, but I got to thinking about it. It made sense. And Georgia Montreal, they, they did a great interview. It really did. It was fun talking to them. And you know their history. I mean, they've paid their dues in horse racing, and it's, it's fun to see them do well. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Oh, that's great. Oh, hey, somebody else I interviewed. This was outside the local concept. Joe Edwards Jr. He's an astronaut. Did the pilot did the shuttle back in the early 90s, and it, it's such an incredible guy to talk to and get to meet because piloting the shuttle was probably the fourth most interesting thing he's done. He's flown 650 flights with Tom Katz, and just it's just an incredible story. Joe Edwards Jr. Astronaut Wikipedia. Check it out. <laughs> well, they always accused me when I left the post office. They would ask me what I was going to do when I retired, and I said, Well, I'm going to work to network for NASA because I just want to take up space. <laughs> Just exactly <laughs> like I did for 30 years in the post office. So I wanted to segue right into a new career, but I wound up doing the radio thing. A lot of it's thanks to you because you had me on, I don't know, seven, eight years ago, whatever it was, and that just gave me enough of a, a bump up to think, well, you know, you make it look easy. Well, it's not easy, but I've worked at it, and it's really been a lot of fun. Oh, my gosh. You know, I, I know you've told me that before. That's just so hard for me to believe, but if it is partly because of me, I am so happy I had you on the show because I know so many people that love listening to your show. And you, did you win an award recently? Well, I'll tell you, I didn't win the award, oddly enough, but I have the speech ready. You ready for the speech? I would, yes. Okay, the speech goes something like this. I'd like to, I'd like to thank you for this award, and honestly, I don't deserve it, but, but then I have arthritis, and I don't deserve that either. So, but boom, boom, <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> we do, I do so many jokes. Um, you know, you got me into stand-up comedy, honest to goodness. <laughs> Seriously. Uh, the casino, I opened the number. Right on the back to me, yeah. <laughs> I opened the number of nights at the casino uh, during the opening for like 10 to 12 minutes. And you talk to the real comedians, the guys who've been to HBO and all that. And they'd always want to know, well, how long will you be out there? I said, I've got an eight minute and a 12 minute mark. If they're not laughing, I'll be back in eight. So. <laughs> well, we're laughing here. That's a, are you So seriously, you actually did stand up com comedy here at the, the sure. casino? This is a true story. I, a lot of times, I believe, my, my theory is, if you can't improve a story, don't tell it. But this is a true story. When Jeff Foxworthy was here, they let me open for him. Yeah, I know. There's a look. you got to capture that look. I'm serious. <laughs> not many times am I speechless. Not many times am I speechless. Yeah. It's so speechless, I forgot to put the mic in front of my face when I just said that. That is so cool. I thought so. You know what? I have something to show you. Okay. Um. As we sometimes do on post time, I have props, and as we also sometimes do on post time, I forget the props. So okay. this is yours okay. while I go get it. I'll okay, good. I can do a couple minutes to stand up now. Ladies and gentlemen, thanks for joining us today. I have my notes with me. Oh, here we go. I once bet a horse it was so good. How good was he? She's not here to do that part. He was so good it took seven other horses to beat him. Okay, you'll lay out a laugh track, right? <laughs> I bet a horse the other day that went off at 25 to 1, and everybody said, did you make a lot of money? I said, well, not so much. He came in at 25 to 1, but the other horses came in at 1230. <laughs> That's a time joke. I'm sorry. Okay, we've been killing time. Go ahead. Heather's back now. Go ahead, Heather. <laughs> my, my videographer, Robert, is laughing, so I must have missed some good stuff. I can't wait to watch this week's show <laughs> and see it. That's how I feel every Sunday. <laughs> oh, thank you.
Okay, now when we did oh, our yeah. first interview, you gave this to me as a present and I have kept it. I actually keep it in my office where I see it every day. I have it behind this like little thing that's see-through. So very cool, brandy wine. And I have another 25 just like it. If you'd like to purchase them, contact me. They can be had reasonable. For those of you who don't know, Brandywine it yeah. was a harness racing track. It's now closed, but um, a, a loved harness racing track where so many incredible horses raced. And obviously, you must have been there several times. I spent about eight years judging at Brandywine full time. You know, it's funny because I, that was one of the things that we were going to talk about, and we still should, is you being a judge oh, yeah, right. uh, in harness racing. You know, that was down on my notes. So you have been a judge at, gosh, what, Brandywine, Dover, Harrington, now a judge there and now a fill-in judge. So you were full-time at one point, and now when someone, you know, takes ill or wants a vacation, Norm Short steps in and says, here comes the judge, right? <laughs> yeah, I filled in at Rosecroft some at Pompano Park. I spent a week there. I mean, I'm, I'm available for hire. I can travel. Uh, so okay. it's still fun to do. They just sent me to school recently, believe it or not. That's a, they come with a shirt, too. <laughs> so. Oh, very nice. You got some swag there. <laughs> awesome. We're parked for two-day continuing ed so I can keep my credentials up. So, yes, I'm still ready to work. Okay, okay, good deal. All right, well, I have just adored having you on the show today. Thank you ever so much. All right, I think I've right. run out of jokes. I think you might be safe to end this. I have taken up golf, but that's really not a good story yet. I'm waiting to improve. Okay, all right. <laughs> that gives us a cliffhanger right there. Norm Short has taken up golf. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> so, <laughs> we'll have you back on to talk about your game as it gets better or becomes a really good joke, right? Either one. Exactly. You know why a golfer wears two pair of pants, right? No. In case you get a hole in one. Ba -dum -ba -dum. Yeah. <laughs> Exit stays left. Thank you. <laughs> He's here all week, everybody. Make sure you tip your bartenders and um, have the sirloin. Isn't that yeah, what they say? It's a two drink minimum. Try the veal. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Cool on a 1.3 in touch with Delmarva every Sunday morning. Listen, give a listen and uh, hope you enjoy. Do we have a time for that? That comes on at 7 a.m. in the morning, but the podcast is available anytime, which if I didn't have to be awake during the end, I would probably listen to it. And that's cool1013.com. Just click on the Delaware State flag. Oh, what a pro. Thank you, Norm. You put me there. What can I say? Thank you.